It's this old guy in the garage in a pit where we're making, breaking, cussing, and fixing. And today I'm trying to put together this NV4500 transmission that I'm putting in a Dodge Dakota with a 4BT. And this is the input shaft. Uh, I guess they call it the slave or whatever. My problem was, was getting the bearing race out of this uh, collar. And I didn't, couldn't figure out any way to get down in there to hook that to get it to come up out. And uh, this is the bearing race right here. So what I did was I went to uh, Tractor Supply and I got this big washer. In fact, I got a couple of them. And they're about just about an inch opening here in the opening and then um, 200 thousandths or so thickness. And if you look, it fits right to the bottom of that without going through it, uh, this bearing race. So I welded it, kind of got carried away with the welding. And then after I welded it, I used my press here and I needed like that, of course. And then I used the input shaft, the old input shaft. I think you could even, if you were going to put this input shaft back in, uh, you could still use it. I don't think you're going to hurt it. And I just put it back. I put it in. I, it fit right down in there. And the nose of it fit right through this opening. And I just simply pressed it right out, and it came out with no problem whatsoever. So that was the way I solved my problem, getting that bearing out of the input shaft slave collar or whatever they call it. Again, I just I took a washer and welded it on the inside. I put two of them in there because I wanted to lift this up off of here. I didn't want to damage the edge of this or, or damage the, the, the opening down here on the on the uh down in the bottom there and it and and you can see again it's a really tight fit and and that pushed it right out and that solved my problem getting the bearing out of that without any special tools this old guy in the garage in a pit making breaking cussing or fixing